What's up guys, how's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to turn off liquid glass on iOS 26.1. Since 2013, iOS has remained largely the exact same year over year. Apple this year with iOS 26 tried something drastically different and, well, people had a lot of things to say about it. Apple refined the liquid glass look, but it still wasn't enough for people. So in an unprecedented move, Apple decided to give users the ability to change it. People couldn't believe it because, well, that's not typically something that Apple would do, but they did it. They're letting users decide how they want their device to look. This change takes away some of the transparency and makes for a frosted glass look. If you want the tinted glass look, here's how to do it. First, make sure that your device is updated to iOS 26.1. Go to Settings, General, Software Update, and then you should see iOS 26.1 pop up. After you update to iOS 26.1, go inside of your settings and then go to Display and Brightness. From there, you'll see a new liquid glass section. Here, you can choose your preferred look for liquid glass. So right now, as it stands, we have two different options, the clear option and the tinted option. In subsequent iOS versions, this might change a little bit and Apple may even allow even more control over this than they're allowing now. And even though it might be a subtle difference here, the clear look versus the tinted look is definitely different. Right now, there's no slider yet to dial in and out liquid glass, but I think this is definitely a step in the right direction. And something that I would love to see them do in the future is add that slider. And like I said, this is system wide. So if you wanna select the clear option, here we go. Now we're in the clear option. As I swipe up and down the page here, you can see there's definite liquid glass effects. And the notifications are clear as well. And if I wanna go back to tinted glass with dark mode enabled, here's how that would look. There is still reduced transparency and increased contrast inside of the accessibility settings. However, this isn't as extremely noticeable as it was before because of the new tinted glass look but it's still an option that you can play around with, so I thought I would mention it. Pretty much just takes away a lot of the transparency of the liquid glass elements and makes it darker. However, you can just do that now with the tinted view in dark mode. Toggling on show borders as well puts a border around the UI elements, so that helps for readability as well if you're mixing and matching options. And real quick, here's a side-by-side -side comparison between the new tinted frosted glass look and the nugget remove glass option. If you updated to iOS 26.1, you will no longer be able to use that remove liquid glass toggle inside of Nugget, so just keep that in mind. But I think as we continue to get further into the newer iOS 26 versions, there's probably gonna be ways to dial in and out liquid glass that are gonna be awesome. Anyway guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for today's video. That's how to turn off liquid glass and turn it more into a frosted tinted glass view. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to hit that like button. Also go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thanks everybody so much for watching. Have a good one guys, peace.